Now, playing concepts would not be playing concepts if it wasn't for the 12 MVPs that make up part of the team. I'm joined by one of them, Ivan Landa, who is our MVP in Azure, That's correct? Yep. And you're also a manager at Bilbao, and yes. you're our IoT god. Yep. Tell us about that. So, about, uh, about Bilbao, I am one of the managers of Bilbao. I work with uh, Rodrigo Corral in the Microsoft Office. And then we, uh, and there we have the opportunity to work in different projects related with IoT. So, because, I don't know, you know, Bilbao is in Basque countries in the north of Spain, and we have several in factories around Bilbao in Basque country. So we have the opportunity to help the companies to improve their business working on IoT solutions. So for us, it's great. And has there been a lot of growth in recent years in IoT solutions? Yes, uh, I think that no, maybe not uh, this year, but uh, maybe several years ago, most of the companies, uh, and this is my feeling, they started to invest on IoT. In IoT and Industry 4.0, it's maybe it's a more generic concept related with IoT, and the companies are investing a lot of money, time, and effort in IoT, machine learning, and how to, um, how to improve the way that they manage the, their data. In so general, what are the, some of the solutions which you've implemented recently? So we, uh, of course, speaking about IoT, there are different scenarios, different business models. We usually work with manufacturing companies, renewables, energies, refineries. So the scenario is very similar. In the last two, three months, we were we have been working on different solutions, speaking with machines, OPC server. We have to speak with big machines to be able to get the data for the machines. And after getting the data, we send the, the, all the data that we get to, to Azure, because the, the cloud computing Azure in this in this case allow us allow us to store all the data in in very scalable way. So we get the data, we store the data, and then we, we create different tools around the data to be able to manage all the information, to create reports, Power BI reports, mm -hmm. custom application and around the data. So. This is the kind of application that you we usually do. So what's the future of IoT now? Oh, no, I never know that. I think that the future, I think speaking about the IoT, I think it's not the future, it's the present, I think. I think that in the future, we will, the company will work more on machine learning, artificial intelligence, everything related with IoT, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. I think that these are the most important topics that the company will use in the future. Now you are instrumental in the organization of .NET 2018. Yeah. Has it been a success for you so far? Yes, uh, to be honest, it's, it's very tidy to, to organize in one conference like this, mm -hmm. because the, the work that we have done to, to have this day was uh, very hard. A lot of people involved, of course, from Plain Concept, not only, I, I have been working with more guys uh, in the company, so it's very tired, and after completing the conference, it's, it's very, for me, it's very, I am very happy because everything works fine, but it's very, it's very hard. It's very hard to, to have this, this kind of I can of imagine, but everybody seems to be having fun. Yes, the, the feedback is amazing. I think that if you, you follow Twitter, uh, the feedback that we are getting is amazing feedback. So I think that everything is, uh, every, everybody is, uh, is happy with the conference. Because we have, uh, we have, I think that uh, the good point for us is that we have mixed uh, talks from people from Spain, mm -hmm. from different backgrounds, and people from outside the uh, plain concept, outside uh, Spain. So I think that it's a great opportunity to have the opportunity to speak with different kinds of people and backgrounds and different countries. And I think that the mix is, uh, is okay. Now you gave a talk earlier in the day. Can you tell us more about that? What are the key, the key points? About my talk. About your talk. Yes. Okay, so the key points is, is very similar to the points that I, I told you before. That IoT, my talk was about, uh, was an overview about IoT solution and the different technologies that you can, man, you can have to create your own solution. So the key points maybe are, or the highlights are, uh, you, before starting a new solution, of course, Azure Cloud Computing can help you, is of course. Microsoft is investing a lot of money on IoT, so start to analyze the different solution, and may, then you have to make some question to your, yourself to say, okay, what is the, which are the right technologies that I should use? Because maybe we, are, we have a, the same IoT solution, we are working in IoT, and we are, we are using Azure, 
but maybe with different technologies because there are thousands of thousands a lot of ser uh, several technologies that you can use to uh, to have a similar solution. Sometimes, depending on the your needs or depending on the background of your team, you will ha you will choose different technologies. Mm -hmm. So my talk was about think about think about it, uh, learn and okay, and then choose. Thank you very much. So okay, to enti uh, carrying on, sorry, .NET 2019, is it going to happen? <laughs> yes, yes. But maybe we will choose another organizers. <laughs> no, no, no. Sure that uh, our Pablo Peláez is our CEO, yeah. and he told uh, he told us he, in the in the keynote that next year we will come again and with better 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 venue, better speaker. Always, and we will try to do our best to be better. It's a big responsibility yes. taking taking this over from Microsoft. It's a big thing for playing concepts. Yeah, yes? we are playing concepts, so we will try to do our best and ensure that we will have a better conference next year. Ivan Landa, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.